The amazing thing about growing out your hair as a black person is you just develop this amazing relationship with it. I love it. I love it. But you know who has no relationship with black hair? The Olympics. Yes, the Olympics, who have booted out black woman Shakara Richardson from competing in the 100 meter dash after finding out that she had smoked marijuana. This was just after a reporter had told her that her mother had passed away. Also, Castor Semenya, a black woman from South Africa, is not being allowed to run in the 800 meters, the event that she usually runs in because the Olympics say that her natural testosterone level is too high. The Olympics is allowing her to run in the 100, the 200, the 5,000, but not the race that she runs in. And now, if that wasn't enough, the Olympics is waging war on black hair. Yes, swim caps that are made for thick and curly hair are not being allowed at the Olympics, ESPN writes. Swimming caps designed for natural black hair won't be allowed at the upcoming Tokyo Olympics, with the sports world governing bodies saying they are unsuitable due to them not, quote, following the natural form of the head, end quote. In the words of Ric Flair, or if you live in the southwest side of Minneapolis and you've only seen a few, if any, black kids on the swim team with your kid, you're like, wow. Look, as somebody who competed in swimming in a regional and statewide level, it's tough enough that we're already amongst some of the pastiest bodies ever created on earth. Look, we stand out like anything Ricky Fowler is wearing at the PGA Tour. Look, we stand out like Boban Marijanovic standing next to normal people. We stand out like black people in a sport that was designated for white people and essentially never wanted us to have the ability to compete in a sport, let alone do it in the first place. Segregated pools lead to today. And now the Olympic Committee is saying that black people can't wear swim caps because they don't follow the natural form of the head. Also, that sounds like phrenology as f If you don't know what phrenology is, it's essentially something that white people created. It's like, Astrology for the skull, but it like promotes eugenics. It's super f***ed up, man. Just follow the link below if you want to. Why people made it, it's the Where is this at today? Well, the founders of Soul Cap, who created swim caps for folks with thick, curly, texturized, black, amazing hair, said this. We don't see this as a setback, but a chance to open up a dialogue to make a bigger difference in aquatics. Soul Cap co-founders Tox Ahmed Salawadeen and Michael Chapman tweeted, The High Road. We literally live on the high road forever. I mean, how do you speak to somebody that says, hey, we can't use the swim caps that you took your precious time and energy to innovate. We can't be inconvenienced by black hair. And your response is, oh, okay. Well, I'm glad that this could open up a dialogue for your, for your own racism. Thank you. Founders of Soul Cap, flowers. These flowers are for you. They're falling for you. There you go.